series. So I uh, definitely expect some really good things out of Semtic. And uh, I think that this cup they should be doing fairly decent. As well, I like this setup that they have with uh, a Secret, Fractal, and Jack. Those All of those guys are really, really good fraggers. Aider as well. But uh, Aider, I'm not really sure how much he has practiced. The really reasons why he didn't play in the playoffs last season was because uh, they didn't. he didn't really feel comfortable coming in there with the lack of practice that he had and going up against the top-tier team. So uh, he's going to be kind of coming in here, I would imagine, with uh, uh, some high hopes to uh, show off. He is a fantastic player. Let's see if that's going to be the case here this time. We are going to be seeing uh, probably standard breakouts, I would imagine, here for this particular map, uh, going over here towards the middle of the map. We'll see a stalemate. Uh, usually we do have one guy coming up here on the top for the U.S. team uh, on this ledge here just to kind of uh, get, get the rockets down, or I'm sorry, just to prevent any kind of a back rage. Uh, might see one over here from Simthic just to throw a couple of rockets to take him out. I'm not too sure if they're going to go that. We've seen teams kind of uh, flip-flop on that, and yeah, you are going to see an ultimatum going up onto that ledge. But uh, this is, a, like I said, a fairly standard breakout so far. Not really seeing anything too surprising. Uh, we'll see if anybody's going to get too super aggressive here or not. The uh, Seeker is going to be heading up inside mid. Decides to go ahead and back on out as we are going to be seeing the bomb possibly shifting over here towards that water side. But uh, imagine... Uh, I imagine it's going to be a very slow game up until we see a first couple of frags. And it looks like Keyboy is going to be able to get one. Can he pick up the second one? Not quite. He does take down Jack, which is a huge play. But Aider answering back, taking down Oliver. And Keyboy is still doing some damage over here on this right side. We do see all of his cover now getting blown apart. And I think that was actually Fractal there was able to do that as he does pick up JP Gamer. Now we do see a slight little push happening up into mid, but big skirmish that was happening over here on the left side. Even Ultimatum going around way in the back, probably overextending himself as uh, he is going to be allowing his team just to kind of fall apart here. Keyboy is still alive, but with mid control completely now into the favor here of Simthic. This is definitely going to be a bomb going over here onto that uh, B side of the map, which is definitely not what they wanted to have happen very, very early on here. Let's go ahead and uh, get these uh, bars back on because this is not good. There we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it, guys? It is. So as we are going to be seeing uh, Walk now making his way over here towards that B bomb site. You do see his teammate getting picked up. Killa, though, just getting a sliver of his arm shot off there. Will go down. And Semtic's going to be able to keep up a lot of pressure here. Fairly uncomfortable position for them to be in. If they are able to win this side... Even if it's a 2-1, it's going to be very difficult here for Slap to come back. But Walk is going to be stuck in a little bit of a, a bad position. He is still going to be pushing on up, though. Yet to be taken down. Nice pick up there. We'll be able to pick up Killa. And he is going to be going ahead and pushing in. Jack, though, coming in on the backside, finishing him off. And that is going to be a plant, successful plant, coming in onto that B side. Nobody is up and alive here for Slap to do anything at all. You can see right now Jack uh, taking up that position there to wait for anybody coming around. From main spawn, we'll be able to pick up one. And, you know, right now he just did the damage that he needed to. That should buy them enough time. I don't think, yeah, that's going to buy them plenty of time here. There's no way they're going to be able to get on to that defuse. As we will be seeing, Jack still just holding on strong here. And, I mean, he has, uh, he has played this out fantastically well. Finally does end up going down, but that bomb will be going over into the favor here of Simthic. As we do have Walk now pushing on out as well. Nice pick up there onto Oliver. And as you can see here, starting to get a little bit of a spawn trap going down. This is definitely not looking good here for Slap. And Walk is keeping up the pressure. We see more spawns coming back in as Jack finishing off JP Gamer. And guys, I think that might just be it. We are going to be seeing the second one coming in here. Fractal making his way back over. A little bit of uh, pressure alleviated here onto the south side of that spawn. We do see Secret. Setting up for a possible push here. He's going to be using that Engineer Kit, which will allow him to break down a couple of these walls, a couple of these barriers. Not able to get the frag there, though. Pushed back with those nades. Really need to be seeing some players getting picked up here onto the ledge. You can see how important this position is as Seeker is just locking it down. That's two kills now that he's been able to pick up in such a short amount of time. And the control that he's been able to give his team is just insurmountable right now. You see Fractal being able to pick up Onto that alpha bomb site. Ultimatum's going to be waiting very patiently here in the ba uh, behind. But I mean, honestly, they are going to have to get every single one of these frags in order to get back onto the site. The ultimatum able to pick up one. Still, Rock is going to be back up alive. Really cannot afford Semtic to go 2 0 on this side. And Walk just might be able to clean it up. He spots out one more. 
Will not be able to take him down just yet. Just seeing the feet there. Teammate will be able to finish him off, though. JP not able to do much of anything at all, and there's Ultimatum going down. And that, my friends, is going to be a very quick 2-0 going down in this first round. Now, I don't think I actually explained this earlier on, but this is going to be a best of ones up until we hit the finals, in which case the finals will be in a best of three format for maps. So for the time being, uh, we are just going to be seeing CG Shanghai. Our next map is actually going to be on Hainan Resort, which I'm kind of curious to see how players and teams are going to be playing that out. We saw uh, very, very aggressive play styles during the finals of ESL 1, so i uh, kind of curious to see if we're still going to be seeing that very ultra-aggressive style played out or not. Looking at the KDs, though, Walk doing a great job. 5-1, and 7-1 there for Aider, and 6-4 uh, and four for Fractal. Jet going 8-2. Putting up some really good numbers there onto the board. And uh, they got to be feeling pretty good about that. I mean, your very first game, and uh, you're able to uh, to take it 2-0 on the hard side. That's uh, that's a fantastic feeling right there. So now we are going to be switching up. And uh, to be honest with you, Slap, not feeling too good for him at the moment. Uh, remember, if they do, if we do see Simthic getting at least one bomb down successfully, then that is going to be game over. Pretty much impossible. Will be impossible for Slap to come back. Now, for Slap to actually take this into an overtime round, they have to make sure that they get both bomb sites down and prevent any of them going down for Semthic, which is going to be very difficult as we saw before. Um, we're just not seeing the fragging power from Slap. And it, a lot of that has to do with the map itself, too. Uh, it was it was kind of interesting. Uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, actually right before finals, uh, I was talking to some of the Semthic guys, and I was asking them, you know, how they uh, how they felt. Finals of the uh, America Cup, by the way, so this is about a month ago. But I was asking some of the Synthic guys, I was like, how do you feel on maps? You know, how how exactly are you uh, going to be looking at the map pools? What, what are you comfortable on? Not? And uh, they basically said that, uh, you know, bragging power in the game comes down to the map itself. They said that lockers is an equalizer. You know, anybody can play lockers because of the way it's it's situated. It's, it's more like a domination style map where it's, a, it's about pushing and just overwhelming the other team as many fraggers as possible. And uh, just keeping your guys up and alive. Whereas you have a map like this. You have a map like Siege of Shanghai or Dawnbreaker or Parasol Storm. And it requires a lot more teamwork communication uh, of locking down those particular lanes. You know, you want to uh, uh, you want to be able to get those frags and then push in a certain lane. You want to be able to kind of shift the team to the area that you want them to be in. And then uh, take advantage of maybe a back, uh, a back push or you have a flank like that. So... Definitely going to be, it looks like uh, they are going to be struggling here for Slap as they're just not able to keep up. So right now we do see uh, fairly standard breakouts, I would have to say, from both of these teams. We're not seeing a Fractal, though, going over here to the ledge just yet. Going to be getting those long-range shots going down range, and uh, yeah, he is eventually going to be there. You see uh, JP at the moment making his way up as well. Kind of interested to see if they go for a fairly aggressive play, if they're going to play very, very defensively here. I would feel like if they did play, I almost feel like they have to be a little bit aggressive right here from the start. Now there is 15 minutes in this match, which is a you know, five minutes longer than what we're used to seeing in ESL, uh, ESL one. So that does give them a lot more time just to kind of sit back, pick their shots. But it also gives the other team a lot more time as well. As you do see Killa here, nice pick up there inside mid, taking down Jack, looking for the two-piece with the G18. Not able to connect with the shots, it's Walk coming out on top in that engagement. Fantastic job, Ultimatum switching out as well. And we are going to be seeing just basically a stalemate steal here in the middle. Walk taking that very forward position there inside mid, and this is fairly crucial. If he was able to stay alive there, that would have given them a very, very big advantage. But uh, he does end up going down. Now we do see Jet kind of spreading out over there towards the left. But again, very, very slow play style is going to be coming out from Slap right now as they do not want to give up any kind of foothold at all towards this C site because they know that if they do lose that C site, of course, any bomb site, they are going to be losing out in this very first, uh, or a very first round of this cup, which this is a single elimination. So there's no second chance here, guys. No second chance at all. Kayla still looking around for an opportunity here to push in. We do see a little bit of a back raise here, an ultimatum. I open this back up, and he is going to be able to spot out one. Nice pick up there onto Jack. No spawns are going to be coming in, though. 
This could actually be a detriment here, but he is going to be able to find one, and he can't connect with the shots. Oh, no, that would have been huge there had he been able to come out with a second frag. But people, that is why you need to wait for backup there to spawn in, because that is such a critical position. He had the complete backs there of Symphic, as we do see Secret going in for those revives. And uh, you see him slowly but surely starting to push on up, and they're going to be able to lock it down. Secret with a two-piece. See if he can make it a third. He spots out one more there inside mid. Not able to connect with the shots. But it looks like Semtek here is going to be on a train. As you can see, a little bit of team fire coming in there onto Secret. And no, it hurts him. It ends up hurting him in the end. Jack here is looking out for those last players. And they lose it. Oh, my God. Four players going down right there from Semtek. That's going to open it up for an opportunity that we'll finally will be seeing Slap taking advantage of getting that bomb out of mid. And uh, finally going to be able to get across the street as you do see Oliver here taking some nice little cross shots. A huge, huge slip up there from Simthic. Should have been an easy, easy wipe. Possibly even a plan off the back end of it. But no, not going to be the case. So we do see Slap here with that bomb. Now starting to try to move it over. But they haven't cleared it out just yet. Walk's still going to be up and alive. And he is going to be able to take him down. Nice pick up there. Walk. Very wisely just taking that bomb and honestly just run it right over here towards that. I, I, I would just run it to A. Yeah, that's that's going to be pretty much a white kill. It is completely out of position here. Uh, yeah, he's not going to be able to do much of anything at all. We do see those spawns coming down. C is going to be planted as well. Uh, we do see more spawns coming back in from main. But uh, honestly, what kill is doing here is not going to be helping his team out at all. I mean... He's going to get shot here fairly, fairly quickly. We do see Keyboy trying to spawn back in. He ends up getting picked up. Walk, though, with a nade right to his feet. Does get taken down. See if Fractal's going to be able to hold on to this. Missing out on those shots. We'll clean it up, finally. Does get pushed. Nice play there. Aider going to be following it up. But no, the spawn's coming at the last second. Can they actually get the defuse? And they do. Oh, my God. Simthic here just playing extremely sloppy. I have to say, I'm fairly surprised, and I don't know if this is because they know they have a 2-0's advantage, so they're kind of just playing a little bit loose, but there is no reason why Simtic should not have been able to end this game right from the start there. Fractal here having some issues getting those frags down range. JP will be able to take them out with that bomb. Nobody coming in from it. Wow, big, big back rage, and Ultimatum seems to be that player that's going in for those back rages, and I, I don't... Hasn't really shown that much progress with it. He's uh, he's actually failed more times than we've really seen him uh, being successful with it. So we'll see if he's going to be able to make something happen out of it now. Walk, though, does end up getting picked up. Not going to be staying alive too awful long. We do see Jack backed up way, way back up, though. He is the last man alive. Doesn't want to go down. If he does go down, that's going to be a fairly hard position to have to fight from. They will have to cross that kind of uh, no man's land there from main spawn. Nice pickup there from Fractal. Watching the back there of Jack. See Simthic now starting to slowly walk it up. Lap with three players up and alive. They need to make sure they lock, lock this down as tight as possible. E-Boy, though, does get taken out. Killa is going to be up here in a very, very bad position. There's the push from Simthic. Three players will be up top, and they all... Get wiped out. Nice play there as Slap here is not going to be able to hold on. We do see the defuse coming back in from Fractal, possibly. Yeah, he should be able to make it, I believe. It does extend out just a little bit. You know, he does. Nice pick up there. Fractal getting that bomb defuse. And immediately you do see the team just going ahead, pushing on in onto that C site. See if they're going to be able to end it out right now. All right, so now we do see Slap spreading on out for that defense. They have made it over here onto the C site in time, so that's definitely going to be a good thing for them as we do see Secret now pushing out onto Waterside. Still not able to find this last player. Will be able to get the hit fire there onto JP. Nice job. Gets the revive as well, and it does look like his teammate will be finishing it out. So Demthic here starting to barrel on down. We'll see the positions that they take if they actually go over here for those escalator positions, you do see Walk doing just that. Aider is going to be set up over here next to Showroom. Nobody is going to be in for a back right here for a flank. Now, we do see JP 
trying to push in over here, but honestly, not really a whole lot that they can do in this situation. Except for just smoke it up and try and rush Simthic, because Simthic has such a tight hold on this. Need to overwhelm them as soon as possible. We do see uh, escalators, top escalators rather, still populated there. Push here from Oliver, all the way around showroom floor. You can hear it's getting very, very low on time. Probably about 15, 20 seconds left. As Oliver not coming out on top with that frag. We do see Keyboy still up and alive. Any spawns coming down on him. It does look like we have a couple of players there around Statue. But no, not enough time on the clock. We are going to be seeing 3-0 going in favor there of Semthic. So congratulations there. We do see these teams starting to fall on.